I've repaired this issue more times than I can count, but most Quest 2 owners don't even know that it's a problem. This headset looks perfectly fine on the outside, even though it's a little dirty, but it won't turn on no matter what I do. Pressing the power button does nothing, and even if we plug it in, we get no LED activity at all. Now when headsets like this get sent in to me, a lot of my customers seem to assume that it needs a new motherboard, or maybe even a replacement battery. But a lot of the time, the issue is actually way simpler and way sneakier. If we take a look inside the charging port, we can see exactly what's going on. These bent pins inside the USB-C are a clear indication of damage. But there's only one way to know for sure. Crack it open and plug in a fresh charge port directly to see if we can get the unit to turn on. We can go ahead and take the faceplate off and unscrew this little bracket here. Once I remove this bracket, I can unplug the charge port and plug in a working one. And now if I plug this charge port in, we should get a light. So this Quest 2 wasn't dead at all, it just couldn't get power because of this bad port. And now that I know what the issue is for sure, I can just swap in this good working port. We'll pull that whole LCD out, which gives us better access to take the charge port out. Pop the bad one out, and we'll put this good one in here. And then we just gotta put it all back together. And now that I've got everything installed, I'll plug it in one last time to make sure that's working. Would you look at that. So if your headset doesn't want to turn on or just won't charge, don't panic yet. Sometimes it's just this little USB port that's causing your issues. And like a lot of Quest 2 repairs, there's no soldering required to fix it. It's really a pretty easy plug and play fix. And it's one of the parts that we always have on our website. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more VR related content like this.